Hey, what's going on, everyone? Big here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at how we can mine with our GPUs Neurochain or Neurochain.ai. This is a product I've been keeping my eye on. I hope to have the team come on for Caffeine and Crypto in the future, and I've been playing around with it during its beta or testnet phase. Um, and I want to show you how you can connect your GPUs on your NVIDIA systems only for Windows. No, they got it for Windows and Linux, uh, but not AMD, at least not yet. Uh, where you can put your GPUs to work and earn some of this NCN is what the token's called. However, obviously, since this is so new, uh, there might not be a lot of markets available, but you can use or allow your GPUs to participate in the compute uh, aspect, and you can stake some of the token, and there's more and more developments as we go. And we're going to be using my desktop computer or my laptop for this, but basically, we're just going to click log in. You're going to go to the link in the description, narrowchain.ai, click log in, in the upper right hand corner if i move out of your way and then you're either going to connect it with your one key your metamask um or your phantom beautiful thing is we just did a one key review if you haven't checked that out uh link will be down in the description going through the setup process and my thoughts on the overall wallet uh but you can connect it your hardware wallet very easily or use your metamask in this case we're just going to use metamask if you don't have a metamask set up you're going to have to go through the setup process uh, we talked about this in a previous video. Uh, just follow the steps there. But you can either create new or import existing. We're just going to import existing and connect using our MetaMask wallet. And now once you click on MetaMask, do you have it set up? You should see it pop up where you can select your address. Hit next, confirm, and you're going to need to sign the message um, and add the network. It's called NCN Mainnet. Here's the RPC, the chain ID, if you want to pause the screen and grab that. Otherwise, when you try to add or log in, it will automatically add it. So we just hit approve, switch network, because we want to switch from Ethereum to that network, and then sign the message. If you have a hardware wallet, you're going to need to approve it. And so here on the dashboard, we can see our wallet address, the number of requests my GPUs have completed, the total NCN earned, um, and we can see the number of GPUs connected. Right now, we don't have any GPUs connected at the moment. We can see our pending rewards and our data rewards. Uh, we can invite a friend. I believe I left a link on my Twitter. I'm not sure if you guys jumped in there, but I will share the link again in the description. But over here on the left-hand side, we're just going to go straight to GPU mining. There is a lot of cool features in here on the left-hand side. So you got dApps, which I like to play around with, right? So they got REST API. Some of these are coming in the future. Um, you also have Neuro PFP. And basically, I uploaded a picture and created a bunch of DGen images. So here are the different images. One of these is Bisbee Trippin. Which one is it? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, then you got NeuroChat, which is like a chat GPT. Uh, it's using Mistral uh, 7B Instruct version 02. Anyways, GPU mining. That's what we're here for. But this is another way that you can participate and get some NCN as well as playing around with the picture and creating your own selfie but gpu mining here it is so when you first come here if this is a new account you need to follow the steps to generate your own signature uh it's really easy but that is the signature we need to connect our machine to uh the network but down here is the operating system so we're going to choose windows in this case but if you just follow the steps one through eight nine total all right, so first things first, uh, we need to update our NVIDIA drivers. If we go down here to the bottom right, I got a little download icon telling me that I need to update my driver. So let's go ahead and grab the latest and greatest driver for this particular GPU. And you can see I'm on version uh, or driver 555.99. And let's see what the GeForce Experience place is telling me. So 5, 560.81, so we're going to download. Do express install. It's up in the upper right here. So just click that, go through the installation process, or you can just go to nvidia.com um, and get the latest drivers, whichever you prefer. Just select your device and everything that you need. We're on Windows 11, search, and then go ahead and download. Same thing, same process. Now they do have a link here on their website that takes you straight to the same place. Um, but if you don't feel comfortable clicking links on a website you've never been to, Go for it. However, everything I've done on their ecosystem has been above board and legit. So we're just going to install that driver and then move on to rebooting our system afterwards. Then we got to go get CUDA. And after the drivers have been installed and we rebooted our system, we can move on to step three to download and install CUDA. 
if you click the link in the website or go to developer.nvidia.com, it will try to get you to sign up for SDK updates, but you just need to click the appropriate system. So we're just going to choose Windows and x84, Windows 11, EXT local. This might take a little bit of time, so just be patient. It's three gigabytes. So download, let that ride out. Depending on your internet speeds, it might take a little bit longer than expected. It shows up in the top right on Google Chrome or most browsers these days. Once that's done, go ahead and follow the installation process, and we'll move on to rebooting our system again before moving on to step five. We are on CUDA Toolkit 12.6 at the time of filming. That might change, so just get whatever the latest version is. Uh, the team also comes out with a lot of updates for their repositories and versions, so just always stay up on the latest and greatest. It's going to want to extract it to our temp folder, so OK. Then it checks the system's compatibility. Now we're going to click Agree and Continue. I like to use Express, but you can do Advanced if you really want to. Most of you might even already have CUDA installed. CUDA Visual Studio integration, I use Visual Studio on this computer, so you don't have to, but I like to keep all the latest, you know, Sublime, uh, get all the latest uh, software repos up and installed on my computer. But just go ahead and do the Express installation, agree, next, and allow this thing to install. Once that's done, you'll see all the various things installed and what's not installed. But hit next. And let's see here. We don't care about launching GeForce Experience or creating a desktop shortcut, so close. Now let's go ahead and reboot this system and then move on to verifying driver installation with that command that we see right here. Once restarted, go ahead and click login again and follow the prompts to log into your device. See, it's popping up one key. But we want to use MetaMask and not what it provided. So we got to log in with our information. Sign it every time you log in. And now we should be presented with our dashboard again. Go to the top left for GPU mining. Scroll on down. And now we need to run that command we were just talking about. Oh, I'm on Linux. So Windows and this command right here. So let's copy that. It says open in terminal, so we can open up command prompt, right click paste, and there it is. So we can confirm driver, everything is good. It's got the correct uh, driver version, and the GPU is being detected. On this particular device, we have the RTX 4070. All right, now that's done, let's get Git for Windows. So we got to download Git, click the link. It will take us to gitforwindows.org. So download, run that installation. It's a .exe. Next, we can see drive is fine, but you can put it wherever you want. If you want to add additional items, check daily for Git Windows update or anything like that, you could do that, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Next, Git, and we're just going to hit next again, use VM. Uh, well, it's the default text editor. I like Notepad++. I also like Sublime Text as well, um, but you can use whichever one you want. I'm gonna use Sublime. Or you could just leave it on the default Vim. Next, let Git decide or override the default branch for new repositories, whichever you prefer. We're just going with the, the basic setup. So just hit next a bunch of times, leave it on the defaults unless you wanna customize it to your liking and make sure that Git is installed so we can move on to the next step. While we're waiting for Git to install, we could go ahead and number seven says download our version 0.32. So this is the runner. We're gonna go ahead and download that. There is the Neuro dashboard, the setup in the upper right hand corner here. So we're not gonna launch Git, we're just gonna finish. Click this setup.exe. Because it's unsigned and new to Windows, it will give you this warning so you just Click uh, Run Anyway, let the install complete, and then here is our dashboard. Uh, they didn't have this before, it was just a file. Matter of fact, let me see if I can show it to you real quick. So you can see here in this folder, I had, uh, what was it, the 0 0.33, I have server 0 0.33, 0 0.50, 0 0.70, so on and so forth, but I had to get that file in order to run this and I just did everything with command lines. The new dashboard makes everything a little bit easier. And you can see here, it's actually moving on to step seven, or excuse me, step uh, eight right here, where we can download 0 0.7, what you just saw on my computer, 
where I had to manually do it. So Windows uh, 0 0.7 is what we're on right now at time of filming, but the dashboard allows you to do it automatically. So let's do it through the dashboard. Install worker 0 0.7. That's gonna go through its process. Be patient as it downloads. Now you will see it changes from downloading to extracting worker. You'll see node. There you go. It says ready. And now we need to insert our signature. So this does make life a lot easier. Here's where we would insert our signature right here. And remember, if we scroll up, we will actually get it or it's down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and come up to the top. Copy signature. Go to our dashboard. Enter that in. Save. And now we can run the worker. We even got additional information like for example, we can see everything we saw on our original dashboard, how much NCN we earned, so on and so forth, and then additional information down here because it's running it through PowerShell. Um, app version 0 0.32, node version 0 0.70. So this is all you really need to get up and running, but I want to show you what I had to do on my Windows system to get up and running uh, prior to this little dashboard being created. All I would do was go to the folder that I created, right? Like just like I do with any of my miners, I put them in a specific folder, go to the latest version, Windows 0 0.7, right click in it and open in terminal. And then in terminal, what I would do is I would actually enter my signature first. So dollar symbol in EVN for environment, colon signature equals, and then your signature in quotation, set that environmental variable, and then now I would enter the command uh, dot slash worker dot exe. And now this 3080 that's on this desktop that we're using to record this video will now also be in there without using the dashboard that I just showed you. The dashboard just makes it easier, but you can run it through your basic commands. You just need to make sure that you have uh, version 3.2 and uh 0.7 installed which I do uh, everything is right here in this folder files and everything you could see it actually calling uh, Mistral 7b open orca G GPT right and it will run different commands like depending on whoever is requesting you know doing a process uh, trying to train the AI that I showed you earlier in the video your miners will work it and so if we log into our dashboard and here we are on the main desktop uh, for my computer. Same thing that I showed you in a laptop. If we log in here, eventually we see both our GPUs should show up. So again, need to sign the request. Sign. Now the dashboard pops up. And then where it says GPU connected, we should, should, we should see two of them here shortly. The 3080 on this system and the 4070 on the laptop. And we'll start to accumulate some NCN. Now I will say with the 3080, I think I was earning about 32 to 35 NCN a day. How much is that in open market? Well, again, because it's a new project, there's not a lot of exchanges or I haven't seen an exchange yet. There's not really a profitability aspect from it uh, until they become available on these open exchanges. But I am earning some NCN and I'm providing my GPUs for compute. Going back over to the laptop, I did hit start. And all I did was the same command you just saw me type in manually, right? So it went to that directory, it put in the environmental variable, and then it started the worker. And now you can see here it's downloading, it downloaded the LLM model or large language model, Minstrel 7B Open Orca GPT. Uh, and then it extracted it, and then it's going ahead and processing it and saying load time took about 7.7 .7 seconds, interface processing about 21 seconds. And now worker, you know, blah, 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 is online accepting tasks. So here, the laptop is good to go, ready to go. And it, it's really going to depend, right? Because this project is new. It's, it's waiting on new people to come into the environment and to utilize it, whether it's through the chat feature, the DGEN feature, where you get to make your own, you know, like it, it customizes or makes, generate some weird DGEN selfie or, uh, you know, using the REST API. As more and more people come on and start to utilize NeuroChain, uh, the jobs will come um, just as we've seen with many other projects, right? So I think in the past, profitability for some of those other projects diminished because so many people did flood the market. So there's different options, different choices, and this product does something a little bit different. We'll probably look into the project itself in a future video. But as far as getting started up and mining, the dashboard makes it super easy. If you didn't want to use the dashboard, you could do it by commands. Uh, and run it manually. 
and eventually your GPUs will start to show up and you'll be able to monitor them, so on and so forth. But GPU mining, just follow the steps. Um, you got to go through the steps to generate a key, uh, which just follow the on-screen information. Then go to GPU mining, follow steps one through nine to get your worker online. Uh, with the new dashboard, it just makes life a lot easier to where you're not having to manually install or extract both of these. Go to that folder, right click, open in terminal, and type in the commands manually. So I like it. I like playing around with it. I'm intrigued by it. I would like to see more. You can see one GPU is already online. Um, I would like to see more, uh, but we'll see how things go. So there's my 3080. You can see it just got, I think, a job. Uh, don't quote me on that, uh, but it will receive jobs and work orders and it will complete, you know, task. Yeah, the 4070 is still standing by for any jobs that might come on. If you want to see the log, you can see it from right here. So good job to whoever built this dashboard. But that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to show how you can do it. As far as getting your Hivon's systems up and running, you could do that because Hivon is built on Ubuntu. It's a Linux distro uh, or it's a Linux-based operating system. So technically, you can follow steps one through nine just on your Hivon system. You just have to, uh, I like to use Putty to get into my rig, uh, but you use whatever you can launch, uh, Shell Start, Hive Shell Start, to get in there, do the exact same steps. Just know it's going to take up space. So if you're running off of a USB drive, not going to be very efficient. Uh, you're better off running off an SSD uh, that has the space and then a little bit extra memory to help you out. The CPU needs to have a little bit of horsepower, dual core CPU, maybe not so much. Uh, it is all GPU based uh, as far as compute, but the CPU does need to get the work, process the work, get, get it over to the GPU and then get it back to the network. So four core CPU or above would be good. A little bit of memory, at least eight gigabytes of memory, I would say. Uh, an SSD with plenty of room to have everything you need installed on it and you should be good to go. Maybe we'll explore in a different video, but let me know. Do you want me to make uh, how to get NeuroChain set up and mining on a Hivon system? Let me know down in the comments, and also let me know which picture you thought was Bisbee tripping earlier in the video. Thank you so much for standing, uh, for not standing, but going through this long form video with me, and do me a favor on the way out. Hit that like button, make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here, and you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.